police are investigating the killing of a rare sea lion on the Otago Peninsula. Department of Conservation staff found the body of the 11-month-old female sea lion called Rua on Saturday on a beach near Portobello with a bullet hole in her head and a deep cut on her body. Rua made headlines as a newborn last summer when she was adopted and named by the nearby Warrington community. New Zealand sea lions are one of the rarest sea species in the world and the chairman of the New Zealand Sea Lion Trust, Stephen Brony, says Rua's shooting is a terrible blow. It's a tragic and a very, very sad occurrence that's happened here on the Otago Peninsula. We only have 15 pups born this year. I mean, we're talking about the marine mammal equivalent of the kakapo here in New Zealand. I mean, the New Zealand sea lion is a nationally critical, just recently been classified as an endangered species. So there's very, very few of them, and they just recently started breeding again on the mainland in 1993. So we have a handful of pups every year coming back, uh, and the community's really embraced this uh, on the whole in that whenever the females turn up and um, we get reports of where they are and the local community keeps an eye out for them and looks after them. And this particular pup that we that was, re was named Rua was born at Warrington, just north of Dunedin. Um, and she was born in a little pine, old pine forest close to the beach, just behind where the local campground was. And the local community really kind of embraced looking after her and she became a bit of a tourist attraction there with the locals, but she's turned up um, on the Otago Peninsula here with what looks like a, a bullet hole in her and a big, well, looks like a gaff wound on her side as well. So she's currently the, um, dead, of course, but she's been sent up to uh, Massey for a full autopsy. How much of a shock is it? It's, it's senseless. I mean, yeah, I mean, this is, a, this is an animal which, by all accounts, she was about 11 months old, she could have gone on to breed and contribute five or six other pups to the mainland population over the years. And I just can't understand the mentality or the reason anybody could have for shooting an animal like that. I mean, it couldn't possibly have been doing anybody any harm or, or whatever. Stephen Brony from the New Zealand Sea Lion Trust. Obviously, anyone who knows anything about that shooting, please contact the police.